Well, tonight in our special report, it is considered a lifeline for almost 6,000 children and adults who live with intellectual and developmental disabilities. But a program in West Virginia took some major cuts in the final hours of our legislative session here in West Virginia. Anna Saunders finds out what this means for families. I cannot live on my own without support. For 12 years, Anna Smith from Wood County has been enrolled in the Title 19 Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Waiver Program, also known as IDD. I want to live in my home. I don't want to be living in an institution. And that's the idea of the program, to provide personalized resources and payment to family and caregivers to work with agencies or give families the ability to hire their own staff to care for their loved one in their own home rather than in an institution. I need personal care, I need transportation, and I need um, respite. Originally in the state budget this year, about $108 million was set to go to the IDD waiver program. In fact, Christina Smith, Anna's mother, thought this would be the year that caretakers would get a raise. But in the final hour on the last day of the legislative session, the budget for IDD waiver was cut by 10 percent. We experienced these devastating cuts across the board to the state's most vulnerable, and it's just egregious. Um, it's just egregious, in our opinion. The IDD waiver program comes with a three to one federal match. So not only is this an $11 million cut from the state, it means an additional $33 million cut from the federal level. While almost 6,000 people are enrolled in the program, according to the Department of Human Services, 676 are on the wait list. Cuts could mean longer wait times for them, wait times that are already at three years for some. West Virginia has the most stringent guidelines um, for eligibility. We have more strict guidelines than any other state in the country. Though he signed the budget, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice expressed his concerns about the cuts as he plans to call a special session this spring to address them. We've taken an ax to DHS and absolutely it will cause a tremendous amount of our most needy to be really hurt. It's not right. It's just plain not right. Legislators ran into budget disagreements toward the end of the session, concerned about potentially owing the federal government nearly half a billion dollars in COVID relief funds. In a statement, Senator Eric Tarr said the cuts to the IDD program and others under the newly created Human Services and Health Services were a result of an increase to the budget for health facilities. Advocates say this is not the first time the program has taken on devastating cuts. Back in 2015, the program was cut financially in a state budget crunch. Do not use individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities as pawns in your budget game. Um, I think that's where we are uh, because there are other places that this budget could have been cut, other places that, that groups, and we know that no one wants to experience a 10% cut. No one wants to experience a cut. However, when you are uh, going after the state's most vulnerable and the ones who need the most significant levels of need in our state, um, that just makes it even more wrong the way that this was done. Now it's up to a possible special session, but the maybes of whether or not it will happen and when and if the IDD funding will be addressed has families like Christy Black's concerned. She also has a daughter on waiver. Unless you live it, and we live it, we live it. You don't understand the importance of this program. So they're planning a rally for Sunday at 2 p.m. April 14th at the Capitol when April interims are expected to start to spread awareness and call on the legislature to fix it. This is our lifeline. You're safer in the community with your family and your friends that care about you than you are in an institution. The, the, the alternative to IDD waiver is an institution. Anna Smith plans to attend, and she will be bringing her own message to the Capitol. I want to tell the governor and legislators to not cut the waiver budget $11 million. In Charleston, Anna Saunders, Eyewitness News. Thank you for watching, and here's another video to watch from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification for the latest.